So these are the nails that I'm going to show you how to do today. Nope, they don't look pretty. Nope, they're not fancy, but they're shaped and they're super short. This is shaping your super short shorties. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maggie Rose back with another nail video for you. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about how I shape my nails and what kind of file I use, if I use an electric or a handheld file, yeah. um, what grit file do I use, all those kind of questions. So I figured I would make a video just about how I file my shorty nails. Shaping shorties. Yeah, I thought that was cute too. So this is what my nails look like right now. I actually just, <laughs> I just ripped all my nails off earlier today. I've been getting tired of soaking my nails off and I end up just like picking them off every time because I've been going longer. Thank you, okay, thank you. So I actually have been picking off my nails, which I know is bad. I mean, honestly, my nails don't even look that bad. Like, they don't look damaged or anything. So I guess I'm doing something right when I dip my nails, that my nails are not being damaged by the stuff. Too. I mean, yeah, they're definitely super thin, but that goes without saying with just doing dip. Like I was saying, I have been picking off my nails because I've been going about every two weeks instead of every single week. So I have a little bit more grow out, which allows me more room to like pick and stuff. So, and I'm a picker, so I can't resist picking off my nails. So I picked them off this afternoon and I used my nail clippers and I clipped them down really short this time. But because I went really short, that's why I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you have shorties and I wanted to make this video to kind of show you just how to shape them. And that's all this video is gonna be. I might show you a clip at the end of what color I ended up picking. Um, and it's actually my birthday week is next week. So I picked my very favorite dip powder to do my manicure this time. So I will insert a picture or a little video or something at the end of this video to show you what my nails ended up looking like after the whole entire process is done but the bulk of this video is meant to show you how to shape your nails. So I did like a little bit of a preliminary shaping when I was cutting them down. So when I cut them down, let me show you. These are the nail clippers that I used. They're just regular drugstore nail clippers. And when I clipped around my nails, I kind of clipped straight across and then I clipped a little bit on the edges. Um, I tried to keep them a little bit squoval, not too, too round, but that's just like a preliminary um, cutting. I didn't actually do any filing yet, but that's what I wanted to show you, the filing part, because that is the trickier part and that is what really makes the shape come together. All right, I'm gonna try to get this camera as close to me as possible. I'm trying to figure out what the best angle is to show you guys this kind of thing but these are the files I get a lot of questions about this so the files that I use this is very similar to the um, files that come in the Revel kit this is actually a Revel file and I love this nail file I love the Revel products I am NOT a fan of their Facebook group however but that's a whole other side story but they have really great nail files and all of their products are really great too but this is like my favorite nail file from them it has a very fine grit so I don't even know what the grit of this is but it's very smooth and I love to use this around my sides when I'm shaping my nails when I'm shaping my actual natural nails I love to use this file now once I have the dip on and I kind of reshape a little bit define those lines a little bit after the dip powder is on top and gets a little lumpy that's when I use this file which is I'm pretty sure it's like a 100 on one side and a 180 on the other side of the nail file so it's very coarse on this side um, but this is the one that I use whenever I'm filing over top of my dip powder so I use this one to shape the dip powder and to redefine those lines after I do the dipping um, but this is the file that I use whenever I'm using my natural nails and it's a very fine very smooth grit so this is the one I'll be showing you mostly today I might use this one if there's like a part of my nail I, I also use this if I don't have my clippers or if I don't want to use my clippers I use this one to really take the bulk of the nail tip down if I want to really make my nails shorter without having to cut them so yeah let's just go ahead and show you what this looks like I'm gonna try to 
angle this camera in a way that you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I do is I kind of go across my nail a little bit just to kind of redefine that line to make it a little bit square. And I think that's that's pretty good, but now I'm gonna go in, and this is the part that's always harder if you want like a little bit of a coffin shape to your nails. I did my nails super short this time, so I don't know if it's going to look quite as nice as what it usually does, um, but it, you just really go in there at an angle, and you just kind of go up to the tip of your nail, and with that hard angle, I don't know math, I don't know what degree angle that is. Hunter's sitting over here on the couch, he probably know. What angle is this that I'm doing? My finger, my finger's right here. And I'm going with this. Yeah, so 30 degree angle. <laughs> but then I just really, I go in there and I get that part right there really good because that's the part that's gonna look funky. If you don't, if you do the angle part right at the tip and then you forget to connect it right where the tip of your nail connects to you know what I'm talking about, right where your tip of your nail connects to the side of your nail. If that part's not filed correctly, it's going to look a little funky. So you wanna make sure that that part is filed as well. I'm gonna do it on the other side. Oop, I'm out of focus, there we go. So I think I like that shape for that nail and I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all the other ones. It's not a lot different than what I have, but my other ones seem a little bit more round than that one did. I hope my voice isn't like super loud right now because I'm talking like right into the camera. And it also helps like if you hold your hand like this and file, to also turn your hand like this and look at it this way because that'll help you get a new perspective on your nails because sometimes what looks straight like this may not look straight when it's like this. And this is how I normally take my pictures for my manicures and so this is really all I'm concerned about because I don't usually go around staring at my hands like this when I do my nails. I normally look at my nails like this so this is the angle where I want it to look the best. So this is the angle that I always triple check to make sure that it looks better than this angle, if that makes sense.
And then after I get done all of my fingers, I just kind of hold my hand like this and see if they all look uniform and if there's anything that I feel like I need to change. And I think those look pretty good. I mean, yes, my cuticles look very rough right now, but that's not what we're focusing on right now. We're focusing on the shape of our nails. So just ignore my horrid cuticles. <laughs> so I am gonna go ahead and do that to the other side and then I'll check back in with you guys whenever I have that hand completely done. So here is what my nails look like, all shaped and ready to go. And I'm going to put my dip powder on there and then just uh, redefine those lines with my uh, thicker grit, heavier grit. What's the word for that? Thicker grit, I don't know, bigger grit? <laughs> coarser, that's it. With your coarser grit file, that is what I'm going to reshape my nails with then whenever I'm finished dipping. Because anytime you use the dip powder over top of your natural nails and you have them how you like them shaped, um, and then you put the dip powder on top of it, sometimes it goes a little bit outside of those lines just because it is like a couple layers of product. So you're going to have to find those lines again, but it should be really simple to find those lines again. You're just following the shape that you just laid out on your nails. I'm doing the same exact thing and just getting rid of those extra bumps along the edges of your nails. I mean, I know this was a simple video, but I wanted to get on here and show you guys exactly how I shape my nails before I start my whole dipping process because I've had a lot of questions about it. And I did mention it in my tips and tricks video, which I'll link up here. Um, or up here, whatever side it's on. But it's in a video mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff and some people just wanna know how to shape nails, so that's why I did this video for you. But if you like this video and you wanna see more tips and tricks in separate videos like this, let me know what kind of video you're hoping for in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I hope to see you in my next nail video. So thank you guys for watching this. Keep smiling, keep finding the joy. Thanks guys, bye! Aria, I would love to try your applesauce but can you wait till I'm done, please? You can have your applesauce, but can I try your applesauce when I'm done? Can I try your applesauce when I'm done, please? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Nope, I don't need to say that. About two weeks in between my... Oh, yeah. I messed up my video. <laughs> Aria, Aria. <laughs> These are the nails that you're going to do today. Yeah, they're not done. That's the secret. <laughs>